Dr. Khaled, first of all, thank you very much for taking the time to meet with us today. Let me first, Dr. Khaled, and I may start with general question about people say a lot about uh, University of Doha, whether it existed before or established newly. And uh, is uh, University of uh, Doha assumed all the rights and obligations of the colleague of the North Atlantic of Qatar, as some locals think, or University of Doha, it was already existed before and has been upgraded. I need, I need you to clarify this point, please. Bismillah uh, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First of all, allow me to welcome you and your colleagues to University of Doha for Science and Technology. Um, uh, university, it is a young name, but uh, uh, historically rooted for a long time. Um, uh, the university, it was established with, uh, by an Emiri uh, decision on uh, February 2022. So you'll assume it is really not uh, long ago. Uh, however, um, the TIVET STEM medication in the country was, uh, in general, it's been rooted uh, since the 50s. Um, and uh, the STEM and TIFIT education at a uh, point of time where the government have um, a vision to really formulate it at a college, in a college. That is why when the, co the government have uh, searched the world and they adapted uh, a model uh, through the College of North Atlantic to really be leading the establishment of the, uh, at the college level, the TIFIT education, or STEM education. And that was established in 2001. And uh, since then, and until the, again, the government have uh, taken the action to nationalize the university, um, is when uh, established the uh, University of Doha for Science and Technology, uh, and that is why I said the name is, is uh, you know, young, well, uh, but it has re been re uh, rooted in, within the education system for a long time. So uh, uh, you can imagine that we as an applied university, a university who really uh, have the philosophy of mix the hands-on uh, education and the theoretical education. Uh, theory as a foundation, but translated into very practical um, applied education uh, aligned with the uh, uh, industry that uh, the nation, Qatar, is needing, but at the same time aligned with the evolution of the, te the technology, the economy of how the world is moving. So this is really uh, the, the more or less what we are doing. Just following on what I was saying, that uh, the, uh, the world is evolving and changing rapidly. Uh, and by this changing uh, is really, uh, is human uh, needs are changing too. This is where uh, the University of Doha, as an applied university, uh, really uh, listening and, uh, and uh, integrated uh, very closely with, uh, with the industry at large, either it is an energy or economy or financial or even, even uh, government. Um, this is the ultimate, uh, ultimate strategy and goal that the university is adapting. So from that uh, sense, and responding to the changes is happening uh, worldwide, which is reflected at the national level, which is really then changing at the national level. The, the university has been responding to these changes. The, these responses, and this is bring and put the university in a situation where um, uh, it is uh, been um, uh, creating the, the answer, the solution, for what we've been hearing. By doing so, it's really have reflected very positively on the growth of the university. So this is why the university over only a very short time 
over two years, almost uh, over 120%, you know, growth of the university. That's a very excellent growth. That's number one. Uh, that growth is really came from the respond where our program is really aligned very closely with, again, what I said, the changes worldwide, which reflected on locally. So all our uh, majors and even the newly uh, uh, announced major, very responsive of the need uh, of our industry. We can go uh, in detail uh, later. And then the third one, which is really responding not only to the program, but for continuous education. We, it is very important with the evolution of the industry for uh, to really change the way we are conducting our, our training and continuous training for reskilling and upskilling our uh, either education seeker or the workforce within uh, the nation. So, um, and this has really added a lot of value for different industry. The third part is the capability of the university which respond to the industry, depends on the industry need, to design, develop, design, and conduct the training as needed, which is really here, this is focus based on the need of an industry. And this is what we've been uh, doing. The fourth one is we have created an environment, the, uh, the university, which is very responsive to our uh, community at large, either faculty, staff, student, but at the same time responsive to our uh, surrounding community, the community within uh, the country. That's why all our facility is uh, open um, for our uh, public to be used, uh, not freely, but to use the, the, uh, our facility. And we've been very engaged on all the activity that's happening at the national level. So we always really uh, be responsive uh, for such uh, need, uh, and many, many of them either sometimes at the national level and sometimes at the community level. And when I say the community level, because the, the community of the university is very diversified. So we have over 85 different nationality. We have different groups uh, either coming from uh, Asia, Europe, the uh, Middle East. So we are being an enabler for some of uh, the community as needed to offer them our facility to be, uh, to be used. So putting all these together have actually responsive very well uh, to not only the growth, but you know, to really um, uh, build a, a brand and an image for the university within our uh, community. Another very important aspect is really research. The university is very, as I said earlier, very responsive to at the national level of the demand and need uh, you know, either a problem or a challenge or an aspect that an industry would like to explore. So we've been very active on uh, partnering with an industry to either solve a problem that they have or investigate an aspect that they want and they want a, a solution. So we've been doing uh, such a things very closely. And there are many examples that I could explain and indicate that uh, we have done in the last uh, two years. We as a university, we are an applied university. So we focus very much on STEM education, uh, uh, science, uh, technology, math, and engineering. So uh, this is uh, a challenge worldwide. Worldwide, there is actually um, a shy from a student going into this field because it demands, uh, you know, uh, more study. It demands more analytical and uh, critical thinking and. Uh, and, and that is where I think uh, we are uh, uh, working on uh, adapting different strategy on marketing the importance of STEM for any nation, and specifically for our nation, as a, a nation depends heavily on uh, energy and uh, knowledge base. So um, uh, uh, first of all, we are working closely with the Ministry of Education to expand the number of national to be graduate in this field. 
the more people they graduate, the better for us. So we have more people who can come to us. So that is, uh, the, you know, uh, one area that we are working closely with the, with the Ministry of Education to really attract more national into STEM education. And hopefully these students will be coming to us and that is uh, overcome and fulfill the need of the uh, industry at large in, 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 uh, in this field. The second one, we are working on incentivizing the student when they come to STEM. And how we are doing that is by uh, creating um, uh, a fun way to teach these subjects. Yes. The way we are doing it, when we do it in this way, where the student now, it, they overcome the challenge by the, practic uh, the practical way of uh, teaching these things. So a lot of us uh, human like to do things and not to really uh, learn things through books. So by the doing, it will become more attractive for a student to really come into this field. And this is what we are been doing, uh, and we are doing more. So we expect to do uh, more of these things. And hopefully, this is, will attract uh, uh, more category. The third one is we are trying to, to really work with the Ministry of Education to work with them from grade 10. So we, we influence their curriculum from grade 10. So the curriculum at grade 10 is aligned with the curriculum with the university. So the student will be attracted more toward the STEM education and they will be, when they come to us, we will have some credit for them. So instead of they, for example, spend four years with us, they may spend only three years and a half. So that's one year, half a year that they have already taken it in higher school, which is aligned with our curriculum. This is another uh, very important strategy we are uh, working with. The uh, fourth or fifth one is during or over the year, we are uh, extensively, we are working with the, with the schools on marketing the STEM education, marketing the university, the importance of the major that we are doing and the aligned of this major for future work. Most of the work that we are having based on the world economy form are future work. So you will not have a problem, inshallah, finding an opportunity uh, in the future. So all these things, it will attract more uh, national, will attract more student into STEM education, and uh, inshallah, we will fulfill the need of the industry through the university. Today, we have, as I said earlier, that in the, in, in two years ago, we have around 2,800 students. Today, we have 7,500 students. Yes, so the number have grown, and, uh, uh, and we have to be alert on, on the growth based on our uh, capacity. I think uh, we, we are adding value, I will say, in the threefold. One fold is really um, uh, designing and delivering a program which the industry needs. In this case, I am actually preparing the future workforce for, for the economy, for the labor, uh, you know, labor uh, market, uh, and that will add value to the economy from a different angle. This is number one. Number two is really the research. Research is really responsive to different uh, need from the different uh, industry. Either it is uh, energy and renewable energy, which we are very important to research in these areas. Food security, we're doing a lot of uh, projects in food security, which will, uh, it will add value and, uh, you know, for sustainability at large in, in agriculture and in, uh, on the climate change for, uh, in the, within the, within the uh, nation. Uh, into um, uh, health, where we are actually uh, very uh, doing a lot of research in bioinformatics, and, and this is to really study different uh, aspect of uh, diseases and, and different behavior in Qatar, and 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 uh, help the health uh, sector either on introducing different ways of. Uh, uh, living, uh, you know, their life, or the impact of food, or the impact of the of the different behavior, and finding solution of uh, a different medicine uh, through our, uh, uh, you know, advanced research in pharmacy uh, technology, uh, or in AI and cybersecurity, where uh, 
we we are the only university who are uh, you know providing an AI data science major in the country, and we have a very extensive uh, research into cybersecurity, which is all these will add values to our economy uh, directly or indirectly. All our uh, programs are are needed for today and tomorrow, and that's why in the world uh, you know uh, form uh, forecast job for when they said. When we looked into the job that they have, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, listed, we we did one to one, you know, matching. So we found the following. For example, in engineering, you know, uh, renewable energy is one of the areas that's very important, yeah. and we have a major is actually in renewable energy. Smart manufacturing, which is the uh, you know uh, industry 4.0. That's something that is, is uh, uh, future, um, you know, uh, jobs needed. We have a major in smart manufacturing. Not only that, we as a country, in the last 10 years, there is a lot of small SMEs has been you know, established in the country. So they need workforce, and that's, this major will play a very major role in such a thing. Um, uh, uh, one another very important major, I'm only focusing field by field, and now I'm talking about engineering. Uh, Qatar has just uh, you know, announced the, uh, the growth of LNG you know, in the next up to 2000, uh, by 2030, I think they will almost double the, their production. Mm -hmm. We introduced a marine engineering uh, major, which is very uh, aligned with the need at the national level, which will fulfill uh, uh, you know, the workforce demand on the marine, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, sector. So that is in, in engineering. In health, for example, in health, uh, who doesn't know that there is a huge shortage of nurses in the world, not only in Qatar, and even in Qatar even more. So we have, uh, you know, uh, two major here, one in practical nursing and another in nursing, which is actually going to feed the workforce today and tomorrow. Midwifery, which is a very huge demand, and we are the only one who are providing midwifery in the country. All our major in, in, uh, in uh, health is actually unique to the uh, uh, University of Doha. For example, dental hygiene. We are the only one who is providing dental hygiene. Um, uh, uh, respiratory therapy, we are the only one who is doing uh, uh, that major in Qatar. Uh, um, uh, paramedicine, we are the only one who is doing that one in Qatar. And this is only feeding the health uh, you know, industry. Uh, coming to IT, and, uh, and who doesn't uh, agree that technology is changing the shape of everything that we are doing? So we have software engineering, which is so important for developing you know, uh, uh, you know, different system and different uh, apps and different digital function for our uh, all different industry. Artificial intelligence and data science, which is that something it is going to be needed and there are millions of needs for job even in the next 50 years. Uh, cybersecurity, where there is a huge demand and there is a huge, you know, demand not only at the national level but the international level. And then we have uh, another very important major, which is digital media and mass communication, which is now, this is where, I think it's very close to, to your heart, but this is where the evolution of now, you know, uh, of even journalism is being shifted to, to be more digital. And that is why we are responding uh, to the demand. And then we have the College of Business. The College of Business is, uh, all the major we have is very uniquely responsive of the need of today and tomorrow. As an example, FinTech, financial technology. It is very much needed, uh, and uh, Qatar Central Bank have announced that uh, FinTech is one of the, their uh, you know, area that they are focusing on. Digital marketing, which is instead of only doing you know, marketing in a, in a very uh, traditional way now, using digital digitization, for all different marketing and you, everything you do, you need to have a, a line of marketing uh, to it. Uh, applied accounting, you know, now applied accounting and everybody is saying that by having artificial intelligence, uh, applied accounting will, will disappear. But not the way, the way you want to do it. You want to use the way you study, teach it is an enabler and using, uh, you know, technology. So that is something that we have. And uh, there is no place in the world 
you have uh, people and you do not have human capital and you need to manage this human capital and you need to uh, you know uh, respond to their need and that's why we have a major in the human uh, resources so if you notice all our major when you think about it they are really applied and they are really needed for any of the industry that we have so um, as i said uh, earlier we have a major uh, called digital media and mass communication which uh, it was a uniquely designed between the College of Computing and the College of Business. And that is where, you know, uh, how the evolution of, um, of social, uh, uh, you know, media and, uh, and uh, marketing and uh, uh, media, you know, uh, science has shifted to. Mm -hmm. and, and we've been doing it for the last, uh, you know, three years, and there is a huge demand on it, you know, uh, uh, every year. Um, one of the very important, you know, um, aspect for uh, at least Qatar is the Arabic language. We today teach this, uh, you know, major and only in English. Uh, however, we worked very closely with uh, with uh, Qatar Media Co Corporation to really design this one in a hybrid mode. Uh, English will cover the technical side of it, and all the contents and uh, you know, uh, especially the front of it will be in Arabic, and that is really to um, you know prepare the workforce in an Arabic language for the uh, industry uh, of media. This is a very strategic uh, collaboration between us as a university and uh, uh, Qatar, you know. Um, uh, uh, media cooperation, and we will build on this one. We, it will not be uh, only this major, but we will see what are other major that it is required to be really in a hybrid language, and we will be developing them together, a responsive for a need from from uh, uh, the industry. We will be offering this one starting the fall, and we expect uh, you know, good demand on on such uh, major, inshallah. Research is, uh, is very important uh, from different angles, too many different angles. Um, one of them is really at uh, the uh, national level to, um, uh, to really bring the technology to the next level. Uh, but the technology to the next level uh, based on a need. And that need, uh, from, from our point of view as a national university, on our national need either in engineering or in a, on a climate change or in medicine or in financial sector and uh, so on. So we link the, the uh, appetite of our research to our Qatar National Vision 2030. And we do have a, a, a research strategy aligned to Qatar National Vision 2020, which we um, look at uh, four pillars. One is STEM and TIFIT uh, education. Second one is the uh, well-being of the uh, human. The third one is uh, sustainability. Uh, and uh, four, uh, four one is digital uh, uh, technology. So around all these, all our uh, uh, um, research, it has to fall in one of these areas. And aligned with these areas, it has to be partnering with someone from the industry, either government or private sector. So there will be, um, uh, so in this case, our research outcome will have value, will have an added value to the entity that they are working with us. Our vision and our hope and our dream to commercialize this in, uh, research. So we as a university, we do have a, an incubator, we call it UHUB. And this UHUB, to help our student, our researcher, to go into the life cycle on how to transfer their idea from an idea to research, to something as a prototype, and inshallah in the future, to something that we can sell it and we make money out of it, inshallah. So and this is where w w what we are doing uh, today. Uh, our students go through, you know, different uh, uh, training and different competition. We have five different uh, ideas inc incubated within our uh, incub incubation here. Okay. And inshallah in the future, one of them will be the, 
the success fact, uh, success company, inshallah. Sure, yeah. It is very important, I think, uh, 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 for any uh, human to really be uh, working and continue in any, any place, uh, to really have a, create that belonging mm -hmm. and that comfort uh, and transparency. So um, we at this university work in a very transparent way, uh, in a very open, uh, you know, um, mind way, where um, we uh, clearly, you know, uh, define the expectation from the individual. We create an environment where the individual he feel belongs to, where he, uh, you know, uh, feel that he. He, he will wake up in the morning and will come to work and will, you know, do the, the best of it. We at the university try to create an environment which is uh, inclusive, where the, fa the faculty or the staff, you know, feel comfortable and the services are provided uh, for, for them. We work on, uh, you know, uh, development, on making sure that the individual grow with as the university uh, is a grow. Uh, we are always uh, striving to do to be the the, the better organization. Uh, in a matter of fact, that we as an organization have won the great place to work two years in a row, and that's based on a, a transparent survey that individual uh, the, the community is actually the one who is answering, without identifying their identity, and they we won. That means we are doing something right. And we are the only university having the, such a thing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, it is really very important, uh, not only for the nation, but for us as a university, which uh, diversifying you know, our uh, you know, uh, uh, income. Um, and that's come from different angles. One of them is uh, we as a university have uh, a certified uh, professional uh, training center. Uh, this is really to uh, uh, train and certify the workforce in many trades in the country. This is, will bring an income for for the for the university for sure, but will elevate the knowledge of workers, uh, either is a welding or mechanic or electrician, and and give them a certification that they will improve on their income as an individual. Mm -hmm. And then it will open a door for them that they could work anywhere. Because our center is certified by, by um, uh, NCCR, an American National uh, Construction uh, Center, certified center, which the individual can work uh, as a license, as an international license, you can work anywhere. That is uh, uh, number one. Uh, number two is from our research and from our incubation, we are, um, you know, uh, hoping that we will be adding um, um, uh, a small and medium entrepreneurship, uh, entrepreneurs to the economy, and that is where, uh, you know, we will add to the knowledge base of the country, and uh, you know, it will add uh, to us. The third one is our uh, future workforce or our all our major are really uh, uh, playing major role in any knowledge, uh, you know, economy. And our uh, uh, future graduate and uh, today graduate uh, will be a major added value to the knowledge base of Qatar. We, as a university, um, always, uh, you know, uh, look for opportunity, but that opportunity is aligned with the need and demand of the. Um, of the industry. One of the very important major that we will be uh, providing is a master in safety. And this is a very high demand from uh, uh, a lot of industry, but specifically the energy uh, uh, industry. And that's something will be uh, offered, inshallah, in the fall. Uh, another major which is very, very important uh, in today and a continuation for the huge demand is a master in artificial intelligence and cybersecurity, and that's something to be offered in uh, in, uh, in a fall. Uh, another major which is aligned with the marine engineering, uh, which is work very closely, and Qatar has a, a huge demand uh, in it. Uh, in it, is uh, logistic and supply chain, and that's at the, at the bachelor uh, level, and that's uh, we will be offering in. Uh, in, uh, in the fall. 
And I said earlier that we will be offering nursing in, uh, in the fall, inshallah, too. We, as an applied university, I, we, I envision the university to be one of the leading applied university. Uh, at the national level, we are the only applied university today. But uh, we want to be leading in that, you know, at the region, even in, in the world. And this is what we are, you know, really uh, uh, aiming uh, for. Um, uh, and that will be coming by, uh, by emphasizing uh, more on research, which is, uh, this is what we are doing, uh, growing the internationalization of the university, either at student level, which is, this is what we are doing, internationalization of the university at the exchange of faculty and, uh, and student at the, at the international level. And this is where we have uh, many um, uh, partnership today and we are working on, uh, you know, uh, putting these partnership uh, to work either in, in Europe or in, uh, in America or in, even in Asia. Um, and uh, uh, being really uh, a hub for innovation, entrepreneurship at the national level and international level. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you very much. Really, thank you very much. Uh,